Well, greetings, this is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is Vert Seed. Vert Seed is the online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. And I'm glad you could join me for another Vert Seed netcast. I apologize for my voice. Still trying to get over the clogged head <laughs> passages, but bear with me. We've got some neat stuff that I want to share with you about... Uh, virtualization and cloud computing. This week, as you can tell from my VMware shirt, <laughs> it's going to be mostly VMware because there's a lot of announcements about VMware right now. <clears throat> so, again, sorry for my voice. Coming soon, VMware vSphere 6.5. 6.5. It seems to me we just got to 6, and now we're going to 6.5. Wow. It'll feature a simplified customer experience <coughs> through increased automation and management capabilities, comprehensive built-in security and support for new application types, including containers. Now, I've been telling you for a long time that containers are important, and VMware is adopting containers. With these new capabilities, vSphere offers customers a universal application platform that supports traditional and modern applications spanning 3D graphics, big data, cloud native, containerized machine learning, and software as a service. There's going to be a new <coughs> vCenter appliance, which will include a 2% increase in both scale and performance for vCenter environments. There's also REST APIs, which will improve the IT and developer experience by enabling greater control and automation and virtual uh, infrastructure for modern applications via the new REST-enabled APIs. VMware vSphere Client, which will now be based on HTML5. It's about time. <laughs> I'm tired of the old Flash-based one and, you know, it getting all glitchy and everything. Well... I'm <clears throat> talking about the web interface. Obviously, the, uh, the regular client has been pretty solid. But I'm glad they're going to HTML5. It'll simplify administrative experience via a modern native tool that meets the performance and usability needs and expectations of users for day-to-day -day operations. VM encryption. New virtual machine level encryption will protect against unauthorized data access uh, unauthorized data access, safeguarding data at rest, as well as virtual machines that are moved via vMotion. Secure Boot, new feature will prevent the tampering of images as well as loading of unauthorized components into vSphere environments. Good security feature. And then vSphere integrated containers will allow IT operations teams to provide a Docker compatible interface. This is a big one to me. To their app teams enabling vSphere customers to transform their business with containers without re-architecting their existing infrastructure. Good stuff. I'm glad it's here. So, or about to be here, I probably should say. Uh, further lowering TCO for hyper-converged infrastructures with VMware Virtual SAD 6.5. That is coming out. Virtual SAD 6.5, it's uh, fifth product release in less than three years. Uh, we'll add support for containers and physical workloads, which of course dovetails with container support in vSphere. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. It'll provide a savings of 50%. Uh, it will also unveil iSCSI support, eliminating networking hardware cost for remote node, uh, remote office, which is uh, R-O-B-O -O is their acronym there. Remote Office, re Branch Office, cute. Configurations and adding all Flash hardware support to Virtual SAN Standard Edition. Uh, so, container support, iSCSI support, 2-node direct connect, REST APIs, uh, 512E hard disk drives and solid state drives supported. Good stuff for vSAN. Now, Go to Vertzine, V-I-R-T-Z-I-N-E dot com and click on the Hands-On Labs demonstration from Europeans VM World. 
It's really cool. You need to see it. Also, VMware vRealize enhances ease of use with out-of-box support for Azure and containers. So vRealize is going to offer container support. They're really going for the container paradigm uh, that has been a big winner for folks in the open uh, source area with Docker. And these will be Docker compatible, so really cool. VMware is inter introducing vRealize Log Insight 4.0 and vRealize Operation 6.4. And uh, we just got that set up at uh, the place where I work. And it is really nice, works very well, and gives you an insight into your VMware environment. Right down to the guest operating system level, really nice. I've been very impressed with vRealize, so I encourage you to check that out. And then, for what for me is the big announcement, is uh, Amazon's AWS and VMware are coming together, tightly integrated. And I saw a demo of this. As a matter of fact, I encourage you to go to vertz.com, check out the VMware announcement, check out the VMware demo of what they're doing, and you'll be like me. You'll sit there with your mouth open <laughs> and just be amazed at what you can do. I mean, imagine this. Opening a virtual data center in Frankfurt, Germany, let's say, by a few clicks, and then migrating from your data center a VM to Germany. <laughs> wow! That is cool stuff. So you got to check this out. You got to go watch the videos. They are very, very impressive. Now, it's currently in technology preview, but VMware Cloud on AWS will be a new solution that makes it easy for customers to run VMware workloads on the AWS Cloud. It allows you basically to move from VMware local, which is what I call the fog, the fog is local, near to you, and the cloud is high in the sky, right? All right, move from the fog to the cloud. Move from your local VMware instance to a fully, easily supported, based on VMware paradigms, your cloud computing. This is good stuff, folks. So I encourage you to check it out. You're going to be impressed by the technology you see in these videos. So, wow. Good stuff happening with VMware. They're setting themselves up for the future of virtualization and cloud computing, which is what we're all about here at VertZine. So continue to check us out. Sorry it's been so long since we've had a video for VertZine, but as you can tell, my voice, I finally just got to the point I'm just going to have to say, deal with it, folks, because I need to share some of this information. But I'm still working on getting my voice straightened out and, uh, you know, talking to doctors and saying, come on, guys, this is ridiculous. It's not an infection. What is it? <laughs> so we'll get it taken care of eventually. In the meantime, put up with me and my ragged voice as we share with you what's happening with virtualization and cloud computing. Join us next time. And remember, this is where the cloud comes together, right? Old Vert Seed.